Do you know these interesting facts and unknown facts about the Pushpa movie? If a new director is filming with a hero who has just entered the industry, there are no big expectations on it. If that movie is a hit and another movie comes in their combination, the audience's interest will increase a bit. Even if they are making a movie together after 12 years, there are huge expectations of that movie. The first part of the two-part movie Pushpa, The Rise, will be released on December 17th. Here are some interesting facts about Pushpa coming after Arya and Arya 2. Alu Arjun and Sukumar first received a good hit in 2004 with Arya. Then in 2009, he entertained with Arya 2. This is the third time in almost 12 years that they have worked together on the film Pushpa. This is Alu Arjun's first pan-India film starring him as the protagonist. Learn Chitur dialogue in it. Most of the Pushpa was shot in the forest as it is an elastic film based on red sandalwood smuggling. That is why the film crew choose Maridumali forests. About 300 vehicles were used daily to transport the entire unit to the Maridumali forest. The first day of filming went on in the background of 1,500 people. Red sandalwood artificial logs needed thousands at a time. Artificial logs are made of foam and fiber. The art department set up a small factory for red sandalwood logs. It was led by production designers Monica and Ramakrishna. Red sandalwood logs Unit supplies were difficult to transport into the woods. For this, dirt roads had to be laid in some parts of the forest. Filming took place in the forests of Kerala for a few days. Artificial logs were taken there for filming. When they returned, they were stopped by the police. They did not give up even after proving that they were made for the movie. It took almost two hours for the makeup to get ready at Alu Arjun's Pushpa getup. Bunny said it took another 20 to 40 minutes to apply makeup after the shoot was over. More than 500 people worked daily in the woods for the Pushpa film. A song in the film was shot with about 1,000 people. The cinematographer who worked on this film is Miroslav Kuba Brojek from Poland, specially trained in Poland and working here. Sunil is playing the role of a villain named Mangalam Srinu. It's noteworthy that Sunil, who came to the industry as the villain of Udamani, is known as a comedian. Malayalam actor Fahad Fazil and Kannada actor Dhanunjaya are introducing themselves to the Telugu audience with this film.